Hello and welcome everyone. In today's class, we'll be talking about medical management of hepatitis C. So, in this class, we will see who should be treated for SCV infection, evolution of SCV treatment over time, and which regime of the drug should be used. So, before I go further, I would like to tell you something about positive and negative about hepatitis C also. Okay, so what is it? अच्छा ये है कि we have a treatment available, we have a cure available with three months to six months of treatment of the uh, course of the drugs, the patients can be freed from the hepatitis infection. The bad point is till now we do not have a vaccine available for the prevention of hepatitis C infection. So quickly we'll be moving towards the content part. Basically, no, number one thing is who should be treated for the SCV infection? Kisko treatment karna hai? Any individual who has got the infection, who is having the hepatitis C virus, or it is the active infection, or we can see the viremia is present, they need treatment. So basically, if you remember, we talked about the diagnosis. Diagnosis, those step mein hoti hai. Number one thing, anti SCV positivity. Number second thing, the uh, SCV RNA reactivity. If both things are positive and reactive, hai, it means the person is having the infection. That patient requires the treatment. So basically, the evolution of the treatment over time was like this. Starting me, it was the use of interferons. Afterwards, the ribavirin was also added. Then the PEG interferons but and uh, the ribavirin were used in conjunction afterwards. The protease inhibitors were also added. And nowadays, we have the interferon-free combination of the drugs. So this is uh, the, the regime which has been given by the, uh, the national guidelines is based on the direct acting antivirals. So DAARO, directly acting antivirals, they are recommended first line treatment in India and you have a combination of drugs which will be used for the management of the patients and the treatment, uh, the duration of treatment will depend on absence and presence of cirrhosis. So when we talk about the guidelines, these are the recommended guidelines. It's not good. Clearly, that you have three categories of people. The management for first category is different than the second category of people and then different in uh, with the third category of people. We'll see that one by one. Okay. So, regime one may concept patients hai, kis category ki patients hai? those patients who have hepatitis C infection and do not have the cirrhosis of liver. They are your uncomplicated cases. Okay. Second category may concept cases hai? Those patients who are having the liver cirrhosis along with hepatitis C infection, but they are in the compensated stage. Or third category will be inclusive of those patients who have SCV with cirrhosis and decompensation also. So, as the category advances, the severity of having liver disease is also more. The first category where you have the patients with uh, SCV without cirrhosis, in case, mein, the, the regime is S plus D. It's so much remember. S is sofosover, D is jaclatasover. Kitna kitna dose hai? 400 mg of sofosover and 60 mg of jaclatasover. The course will be for 3 months, 12 weeks. In the ke baad mein, SCV RNA will be tested. If it is not reactive, the person can be freed from the treatment. His course of treatment is over. Second regime mein kya hai? Those patients who are having the SCV with cirrhosis and compensation. They have the compensated cirrhosis. Us mein kya hoga? You have to give the regime of S plus V. S goes for sofosavir, same, 400 milligram. V goes for velpatasavir, 100 milligram. For how long? 3 months or 12 weeks. Uske baad mein fir se test kiya jayega. If it is non-reactive, the person can be freed from the treatment. In the third category, you have the most severe cases. You have the most severe uh, patients where they have the SCV, they have the decompensated cirrhosis. It means that the patients might be having ascites, jaundice, variceal bleeding, GI bleeding, or they might be having hepatic encephalopathy, etc. The decompensated cases. In this regime, hai? you have SVR. Take it as sofosavir, V, valpatasavir, the dose is same, 400 plus 100, plus 
ribavirin. Ribavirin is your antiviral medication. The the uh, dose will be varying some bit, uh, somewhere between uh, 600 milligram to 1200 milligram depending on the weight of the person. And this will also be taken for three months. Three months ke baad mein, se testing ho So simply kya yaad rakhna hai? First category of patient S plus D. Second category S plus V. Third category S V R. Okay. Duration is three months. The treatment duration is three months. But you might have people who might not be tolerating the ribavirin. In those patients where there is ribavirin intolerance, you have to continue the same treatment regime as of your second category patients. S plus V. Sofosovir plus Valpatasovir. But these patients have a severe course of illness. So you have to give them for six months or 24 weeks. Okay. So koi bhi patient, the third category mein hooga, who have a uh, SCV infection along with that cirrhosis, which is decompensated. In case, mein, you might give them SVR, Sofosovir, Valpatasovir, Ribavirin for three months. Or if they are intolerant towards the ribavirin, you might have to give them the sofosuvir along with the valpatasuvir only. That will be for six months. Okay. One more thing you have to remember from uh, these guidelines is that the patients who were having the uncomplicated SCV, category one patients, they might be required, they, they are not requiring the lifelong follow-up. testing And then if the SCV reactivity is not there, they can be freed completely from the treatment. But those patients who were in the category second and third, it means who had the cirrhosis also, they will require lifelong monitoring and the follow-ups. Why? Because these patients might develop the complication of cirrhosis or they might develop the hepatocellular carcinoma. Early identify karne ke liye, it is important that the patients are called for the follow-ups and for the lifelong monitoring. So uh, that's it for today's class. I'll give you one question. The answer you have to write down in the comment box. That is, which regime of drug should be used in the patients who are having the SCV infection and compensated liver cirrhosis? Jin patient ko SCV hai, or liver cirrhosis compensated hair, which drug of treatment will be given to those people? Thank you so much.